What up everybody, Blaze One Sports, and today we're going to talk about Raiders versus the Cowboys on Thanksgiving Day. Game happened last Thursday, about a week ago. Cowboys uh, lost 36-33, to and it was a close game. Many say the game was dictated by the referees. The referees were calling plays all day long. They were bringing back key plays for the Cowboys. I believe it was the first quarter. Dalton Schultz caught a touchdown up the middle for like about 15, 20 yards, and then they brought it back on a penalty. Anthony Brown, they called four penalties on him. And and, and if you watch the game or watch the highlights, you can see um, most of those calls that the referees were calling were just bogus calls. It looked weird, like they wanted the Raiders to win or something. I don't know. At the end of the game, they called a pass interference, which set the Raiders up for the game-winning field goal in overtime. So did anybody else watch this game? What do you guys think? Were the referees calling bogus calls? Were all the calls justified? I was watching the game, and you know that one play where the ball hit Brown in the back of the head? He, he wasn't making contact with the receiver at the time. I think that call was bad. A lot of the calls were bad. The referees dictated the game. The referees pretty much beat the Cowboys, I think. Just key plays where they brought back the touchdown and this and that. Dak Prescott, 32 of 47, 375 yards, two touchdowns, no picks. Could have been three touchdowns, but they brought that one back. Pollard had 10 carries, 36 yards, no touchdowns. Zeke only had nine carries for 25 yards and a touchdown. So Zeke's still not doing nothing. I don't know what's going on with him. The way the backfield's playing, it looks like at the end of the year, they're going to probably have to re-sign Pollard and move Elliott, or he's going to have to take a pay cut. The play calling, again, just I don't know what's going on. I don't know who's calling the plays, but the offensive plays, they need to be pounding the ball more. And they're not doing it. So the way the Cowboys are going, it's just bad play calling for another second week in a row. Pretty much all season, it's been bad play calling. People have been calling out Mike McCarthy and a little bit more on Kellen Moore. Dak Prescott had one carry for three yards. So they basically only ran the, ran the ball 20 times and under 100 yards, pretty much under 60 yards. I don't know what's going on. The play calling is bad. Something needs to change on that part. Gallup had five receptions for 106 yards. Wilson had seven receptions for 104 yards. Brown had six receptions, 53 yards. And Schultz had three receptions and a touchdown for 46 yards. Pollard also had four receptions for 32 yards. And Zeke had six receptions for 24 yards. McKinnon had one reception for 10-yard touchdown. On defense, there wasn't too much going. Diggs didn't get his uh, interceptions. Neil had six tackles, six assists. Lewis had a sack. Parsons, he had a sack, and Parsons becomes the Cowboys' leading sack leader in sacks. So what do you guys think about that? Michael Parsons is the super rookie. A lot of people wanted Sertain over Parsons, and they were sad when the Broncos got Sertain Jr. And I was one of those people, but I was kind of happy when they got Parsons because he's a you know he's all over the field. He's fast. He's athletic. I didn't think he was going to be this good though. So him, him and Diggs are a huge surprise. Dallas Cowboys super rookies. Parsons to me, Parsons has got to be rookie of the year. He's playing the best out of the rookies. Uh, Parsons, I think, is better than Sertain Jr. So what do you guys think? I'm happy with that pick now. On uh, the defense, or not on the defense, but on for the Raiders, Derek Carr was 24-39, 373, a touchdown, almost the same numbers as Z, as uh, Dak. Jacobs, 22 carries, 87 yards, and a touchdown. I figured the Raiders would be pounding the ball. Cowboys should have two. two. Drake, 7 carries, 25 yards. Carr had two carries, 21 yards. Marcus Mariota rushed twice for four yards and a touchdown. Renfro, eight receptions, 134 yards. Deshaun Jackson had that touchdown with three receptions, 102 yards. Waller, he went out early in the game. with He got hurt, but he had two receptions for 33 yards. 
On the defensive side, uh, Nakoyu got one sack, and that was about it for the defense. They had some, they had a lot of stops, but other than that, Abraham was set seven tackles. Littleton had five tackles. Hayward had five tackles. That was about it. No interceptions, no sacks. Uh, Carlson hit the game-winning field goal. He was five for five on field goals. His longest was a 56-yarder. So, what do you guys think? Anybody else watch the game? Uh, Dallas has to improve their rushing. Bad play calling. They got to improve their play, play calling. The referees, I don't know what they were thinking. They were all over the place calling bad plays. Noah Brown, or not Noah Brown, Anthony Brown with those four penalties against them. I don't believe in those. Um... I watched them and some of them were bad calls. Referees pretty much dictated this game and screwed over the Cowboys. The Cowboys would have won if the referees called a better game. They did too much in my opinion. What do you guys think? Pollard had that kick return for a touchdown. So thoughts, comments, questions, opinions in the comments section. Cowboys lose a heartbreaker to the Raiders and the referees on Thanksgiving Day. Refereeing was atrocious that day. What do you guys think? Thoughts, comments, questions, opinions in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Blaze One Sports.